Hello guys, actually I'm um, covering this one on time. The first day that Anvil hit the expo. So we gonna go check it out. Um I know on um Oh damn it. Aegis, I was kinda late, covered it on the second day. On Anvil, let's let's go and please don't stutter. Anyway, Anvil will actually get to look better the first day of the expo. Do not believe there was anything new with Anvil. I mean, still cool. I always thought the um No, this is not the hawk, this is the arrow. No, I know arrow was cool. Never really fell in love with mine. It is good, but never kinda really got in in, in love with mine to be honest with you. Oh, What's all the SBC doing? Pisces? Surprisingly, is one of my favorite ships to fly. If I'm doing missions or whatever, Pisces right here is amazing. It's probably one of the best or most fun small ships to fly. Very responsive, very forgiving, especially the medical variant. Got your healing. It's 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 pretty it's pretty good. Alrighty. Love the hawk. Always love the hawk. Hardly see it in a verse, though. I have never seen... I have absolutely never seen anybody fly the hawk. Really, really cool, cool ship, though. Obviously, the Carrick. Oh, you know, I should do a repeat of the video where I just landed on a planet and got in a top turret and got my bounty done. I wonder how that will work, like somebody said in the comments. I wonder how that would work with Master Mo I always forget how big the Carrick actually is. There was my space turtle that didn't fare too well with master modes. I mean, I took a long time to die, but I just didn't have the firepower for the two ships. I just couldn't do it. So they killed me. I mean, I always loved how the this landing gear is. It's they did they did a nice job. Like I said, I still forget how just damn big the Carrick is. All right, let's go. Oh, there's our first. There we go. Back. Nope. Uh. Right. See, I always felt like I mean, I I get it. Like the Invictus launch week is supposed to be kind of military, but also makes the show a little smaller. Um. I guess you can get through it faster, I suppose, but. I guess in the last couple of years, there's hardly anything new for Invictus, so the hype's kind of down, to be honest with you. I know they announced Ironclad and all that stuff, but there's just another concept ship. I'll believe it when I see it. It was cool to see the Polaris on the floor, though. That was seriously cool. I did not expect to see the Polaris. And what do we got here? Ah, Valkyries. I always love the Valkyrie. You know, pull that ship. I wish it would just not be a drop ship. Wish they would give us like other variants because, like, I love these front thrusters slash vents. Like, very it looks very like old school sci-fi ish. Like, you know. The alien, that kind of stuff, like this old school, like these vents remind me of old school sci-fi movie. So I would, I wish it would just be more variants of the Valkyrie, and not just the dropship. Because if that's the case, I would definitely get one. Ah, there's the F7C MK2, the latest and the baddest version of the Hornet. Don't remember if I have it. 
Well, not the MK2. I don't believe we have that one. But, uh, oh, oh, I love the new menu. That was a cool menu. Let's check this out. UMFD screens. Son, I'm dis I'm disappointed. Love the cockpit design though, like very cool. I wish they would give you more MFDs though. Love the anvil logo in the middle console. That's pretty neat. Ladder very reminiscent of like you know fighter ladders like the F fourteen, um, the A ten, that kind of stuff. So that's that's kind of cool. Small details. I love that they got that right. Oh, I'm not right. There was no right and wrong, I guess. But at least they kind of tried to mimic that. But yeah, so this is the one I got. Of the military. I got just a MK2. Yeah. Yeah, that's the OG. I still like my Super Hornet. I don't care if it's just a bigger target. With the same power, firepower. I still like it. That's a cool Mohawk now that we have to stare at this since we're frozen. We're bet No. Come on, man. I do not know why the moment I get on the expo floor, it just goes to hell. Uh, anyway. So, oh. Come on, my dude. I guess we'll hang out here for a bit. No. Okay. Ugh. I love this ship, the Hurricane. If they can slay, I mean... <laughs> Look at the size of these fucking guns. Look at that, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. But my main attraction is that turret on top. If they could slave this, oh, there we guys, late night. If they can slave this to pilot, oh my god, the most OP ship ever. And there's the lightning, the ship that we still haven't found. Um, loadout that's decent. I need to revisit that. But lightning's very cool. Might be a little OP, maybe not. We'll see. Jury is still out. Should have, yeah. And oh, we got one more expo. Oh, no, we don't. Yeah, that's right, though. Do not. Alright, let's go downstairs and see what we got. That should be quite a few ground vehicles. I mean, you got your Spartan platform, you got your ballista. Yeah, Anvil makes cool ground vehicles here. Oh, yeah. I always like, you know, when I first got the, like, the Ballista or the Centurion, I was surprised that I would, like, not fit this anywhere. Actually, the reason I got a C2 was just so I could fit this, this vehicle in there. It is surprisingly, it doesn't look like it. But it is surprisingly large. I mean, it's ridiculously large when you try to even... Like, I couldn't even get it in a Carrick or anything. Which was kind of a surprise, but that, because that was the original plan. I love the rubber texture. Well, now we get to look at the rubber texture because we are frozen yet again. Yep, still frozen. Come on, there we go. Love the rubber texture. Well, wasn't my intention to have you guys stare at the tire. Alright, let's go. 
What do we got here? Oh, the, that this is so much fun. The ballista is such a good time. There was a video a while ago, maybe like a year ago. I don't know. It's been a bit. Um, we're hooked up with these dudes, and they were basically we posted up on a planet, and we kind of declared like a silver white bounty, and we would have a bunch of ballistas and centurions. And we would tell people where we are, and we would kill them, we would pay them, we would send them some UAC, just to kind of make sure we're not griefing or anything. We would compensate people for coming out there and participating in the event. But that was so much fun. Those dudes were cool. Alright, let's go. Let's see what the holodeck has in store for us. What's this? Uh... Liberator. Transport. Almost looks like an auto. Oh, yeah. This is the... Huh. I thought that was the repair one. I guess that's also a transport. No, that's gotta be... I'm, I gotta be thinking... Oh, no. I'm thinking of the Crucible. Yeah, I'm thinking of the Crucible. And this is... What do we got here? Yeah, this is the Liberator. Well, I haven't seen this one before. It looks very like the Crucible, though. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, yeah, that's Leg Legion Legionnaire, right? Yeah, that's gotta be. And see... Yeah. And see, the ship is actually not gonna be that big. Like I said, the scale is always deceiving in these holo holodecks here. But I love, like, the design, the swept-back design. Alright, and... Is this the Crucible, or my... Yeah, that's the Crucible. That's the heavy repair. I mean, the other ship kind of looks a little bit like the Crucible, right? I mean, you guys can see that, though. Especially up front, with that big loading ramp. I mean, it looks very, very similar to uh, that, that other transport ship. I already forgot the name of it. Ace as well. Yeah. Well, that is Anvil. A little bit of a faster walk around, I suppose. But, with one ex main expo floor downstairs and one side hall, you kind of guess get through it quicker. Especially since there's really nothing new. To show and I'm not gonna show you no know, walk through the same ships we already seen a bunch of times. I mean that's kinda of wasting your guys' time. Yeah, that's that is it guys. Well, um if I believe correctly, Anvil is the last and there's I don't believe that there's what after Anvil. Man, Karak is just huge. I always forget how Karak is. Um, let's go see, just so I can refresh my memory here. What do we got? You know, might as well get a little bit more freezing in. I know I gotta go drink some water, but I wanna go look at the schedule quickly. Okay, so what we got? Okay, Anvil. So Anvil for two days. Now we got the finale. So we'll see what that will entail. But I suppose we'll see soon enough. Alright guys, as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.